hello 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 my friends how are we doing today oh it's great to see y'all out here welcome 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 oh my camera's off that's a uh, you know i've been gone for a week been gone for a week but you know we're getting there slowly yeah oh my lights are off too <laughs> we've been gone for a week and i forgot how to do this whole streaming thing oh one of them is not working let's see can i fix it ha oh that's really bright hello all right hi there light hi everybody how are we doing my friends welcome 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 if you have not already please be sure to leave a like on the stream helps me out a ton so i really do appreciate it Maybe it wants to work. It's been a while. Y'all, I've been having a headache of a week trying to get a few com <laughs> computer issues fixed, but we'll see how it goes. Oh my gosh. Hi, everybody. Welcome, 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 welcome. Oh, now I lost the first light. There are both Bluetooth connected. Let's see. There we go. And for some reason, my computer just like loses them randomly. So I don't know what's going on. Also, the alerts that y'all are sending in here aren't showing up. So, you know, this is great. Eggs, thank you so much for the 17 months. Octavia, thank you for the two months. Oh, it's good to be back. Oh, it's good to be back. My friends, if you have not, please be sure to leave a like on the stream. We got 1,500 people in here already, and we're not even at 700 likes yet. I believe. I believe we can get there. Let's turn that music down just a touch. Okay. So, it is a Wednesday struggle. It's a Wednesday struggle bus of a day. I have heard from YouTube that they had a fix for me to try for that stream issue where it crashes about a minute from now uh their fix was to turn the stream back down to 30 frames per second where i had it at 48 frames per second on the stream so stream quality is slightly worse today that is why we're gonna try we're gonna see if the stream crashes or not and if it doesn't crash next week i'm gonna try at 60 fps i wonder if youtube is just randomly it only works on 30 intervals which is weird because twitch worked great at 48 fps and also for the first few months before uh i started getting the crash i've always streamed at 48 fps on youtube so i don't know why suddenly it's causing problems but here we are <laughs> oh my gosh all right here we go jenny thank you so much for the dono loving the hardcore movies hey that's absolutely awesome Four Thousand days is gonna come out next weekend it's ready to go but I want to let the current one stew a little bit more. There was a lot of back-to-back -back movies, and I want to give people more time to catch up. So not this weekend, but next weekend, we will have the uh, the third, the 4,000 Days Hardcore. But new hardcore video should be coming out tomorrow. It's it's done. It's good to go, hopefully. Uh, Marcos is getting through editing it. I have been working like crazy since we got, we got home on Sunday, and I... <laughs> I think I've played like 20 hours of Minecraft already between Monday and Tuesday just to get the video done. So it's been a long week already. And now we're only on Wednesday. So we're here. We're doing great. It's going to be a fantastic time. Uh, but that should be a new hardcore video coming out tomorrow. Uh, no, I want to go that way. I'm getting kind of cut off by the chat over here where I'm sitting right now. So, you know, it's all good. How was vacation? It was great. We went down to Arizona to visit some of uh, my wife's family and we just hung out the entire time just chilled and caught up with everybody well not chilled i should i need a different uh just slightly sweated to death it was like 100 105 most days so me being uh from the pacific northwest and uh rather pale <laughs> i was just constantly just like i need to find shade i need to go inside in the ac it's too hot for me it was great seeing everybody though it was good catching up with the fam uh, so that was cool. Uh, Beach, thank you so much for the dono. Mallow, thank you so much for the 10 months at Mega Fan. We got Colossal Hobbit with the 10 months. Thank you so very much. Uh, Elkana, thank you so much for the tier one. I probably butchered that. Uh, Sarah, thank you so much for the tier one. We got Akasa, thank you so much for going to support her. Liz Source with the 17 months. Yuki with the four months. Shadow Cat with the supporter. And Beach with another dono. Thank you all so very much, my friends. I really do appreciate that. How's your day going? Uh, so far, I slept in a little bit extra. I got up, I took the dogs on a walk and I came back and uh, I just have been messing around on new life, trying to get things going. Um, it's been great. It's been, it's been a good little chill morning. 
I did like 45 minutes before the stream started I, I got back in my office I was like there's no time to record anything so I'm just gonna play some games and I was sitting here I opened up Diablo I had new life open I accidentally had like 10 chrome tabs open I had discord Spotify and Streamlabs open and my computer just said no <laughs> you need to stop so it just everything crashed I was just like oh no and then I thought about it and I was like you know new life takes like six gigs of RAM Diablo 4 is another six gigs of RAM and then 10 chrome tabs that's probably another three or four gigs and then we have stream laps that's another gig of RAM being used in there and I was like I see why it crashed I see why my 16 gigs of RAM in the system we're like mm -mm, we're we're done stop we're we're done how are the doggos doing they're good they're they're good Koda's finally feeling better uh which is great so that's fantastic he started feeling better last Monday before we left on our trip otherwise I was gonna stay home if he wasn't feeling great so good thing he was healthy and all that stuff so that was really really nice and um yeah Nova's fine she's chilling she's loving chasing all the bunnies outside when we're on walks <laughs> We saw some raccoons on our walk this morning. The dogs were very confused. First time they'd ever seen raccoons. Well, for Nova. Coda definitely saw some before. But, um, Walter, no need to spam, my dude. I see you. I see you. Uh, Gremlin, thank you so much for the 11 months. Uh, where did I miss? Step off. Uh, Rachel, or Rochelle. Uh, Wood, thank you so much for the 14 months. We got Gremlin with the 11 months, and we got Emmy with the 8 months. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I've been loving the hardcore movies. I'm so excited to see how the world develops. Tomorrow's episode is very fun. I had so much fun recording it, even though it was a long start to the week. I recorded as much as I could before leaving, and then I came back and I just had to do all the building and everything for it. So it was, uh, it was, it, it, I really like how it turned out. I really, really like it. Will there be an Empire's World download? Well, Ollie has put out his finale, which leaves everybody who I am aware of is going to be recording a finale is done. So. Uh, I'm shutting the server down this Friday and I will work on getting a world download out for y'all. Check out Flip 2. Uh, that's where I'm going to be uploading it so it slowly dithers out into the community because last time I did it, when all of our communities were much smaller, um, you all literally crashed the database server that we were using to get the world downloads. Um, so if you would like the world download, it will be out probably sometime next week on FWIP 2. I'm going to do a little world tour on there, check some things out, and it'll be great. Um, but yeah, on that, I'm going to say it in the video too. If the world download does not work when you click it and it says the link is dead or something like that, that means you just need to try again tomorrow because we've hit the API call limit and it's not going to be working until there. Wooter, thank you so much for becoming a member. How are you doing? Hope you're doing well, my friend. For those who have been around for a long time on the channel, Wooter was, I think you were one of the first 20 subscribers. Like, not members, 20 subscribers. It's definitely under 100. But Wooter was one of the people that commented all the time when I first started uploading videos. They have been around the channel for probably seven years. So thank you so very much for the support, my friend. I hope you're doing well. Good to see you. Good to see you. Glad to see you're still out here hanging. Yeah, they are. That th Some of those early names, I still have ingrained in my brain. Every time I see them come up with comments, I always see it. So thank you so very much. I really do appreciate all the support. Uh, is Empire Season 1? Well, I just, Sarah, I just covered that. If you scroll back like 20 seconds, it'll be out next week uh, for short one. Skipper, thank you so much for coming a member. I really do appreciate it. Oh, super excited for the video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It should be fun. Should be fun. There is no VIP on um, uh, YouTube. I wish there was. That'd be great. My friends, if you have not, please be sure to leave a like on the stream. We got 2,000 people in here. We're not even at. You know what? Did anybody crash? We're 13 minutes into the stream today. Has anybody crashed it? Has anybody crashed yet? Like, has anybody, like, had the stream just die on them randomly? No. No, I'm not seeing anybody saying that they've crashed. Still available to download. Don't Roman tell me 30 fixed. FPS fixed it. Ah, oh, I don't want to stream in 30 FPS. That makes the recordings really bad. <laughs> I think I did. I'm not sure. I did at the very start. Okay, at the very start's different. No, 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 no. Yes. We got no. Yippee. Okay. 
Leave I had a bit of lag for it. Okay, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Okay. So maybe it did work. Just, yeah. All right. Assigned Citrus, thank you so much for becoming a member. Faith, th Mito. thank you so much for becoming a supporter. Skipper, thank you so much for becoming a member. Sarah Joe, thank you so much for the dono. Uh, World Download should be out next week for Empires. All right. Pleased to meet you. We've got stuff to do, my friends. Stuff to do today. First, I want to go get a few levels because we might be teleporting a bunch. Well, I have been teleporting a bunch and I need more. Um, actually, first step here, 311 iron. Are we full? We're full! Sales! We've made six diamonds! <gasps> good day. It's a good day. It's a good day. We need some hype in the chat for our first sales on anything. I'm gonna leave that there. Get in in the video. All right, who used the system and didn't throw things out? Is the anvil still here? The anvil's still there. Okay, all right, we've... I'm about to block off this experience farm. This is why the server's lagging. People are complaining about lag on the server and then they're leaving trash all over the place. lagging everybody's saying the server's all laggy and just gross and then we log in to see this i leave for one week and they ruin it all it's real. well i was asking about empire season one dl not two. Oh, 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 oh uh season one download if it's still active on the link uh then it's gonna be there sees if that link is no longer active then i don't have it Oh, yeah, we're getting some lag on the server today. Sweeping edges not working. Uh, yeah, I don't have the world file anymore. Uh, FWIP 2 has the original download on the world tour that I did at the end of the season there. So you can check that. But that would be the only chance, really. I'll be honest. Oh, yeah, we are... Oh yeah, that's that's not good. <laughs> All right, uh, we'll see how the server wants to do today. Uh, if it wants to be super laggy, we probably won't be able to do too many things. Uh, so we'll jump over to hardcore. If it wants to work, uh, I'd like that block, please. Uh, I've got a great idea of stuff I want to be doing today. We're just gonna dump everything that's not a bone. Oh, I dump bones. That's fine. Let's see if I hit this angle, that should. Yeah, that should that should get it all. Oh, no. Aha! <laughs> Stonks. Okay, we're chilling. It's fine. Everything's gonna be A-OK. -okay. It's gonna be totally fine. Totally, totally fine. Yeah, that's that's the best I think we can do right now. That's gonna be how it goes. That's not the exit. The exit's over here now. Hey Mel, nobody's forcing you to be here. If you're bored, you can leave. Nice to meet you. <laughs> we're chilling. This is the first time I've logged in New Life in a week and a half. I'm trying to remember what the heck's going on. Frank, thanks Please so much for the 16 you. months. I really do appreciate it. Can't wait to explore the Empires 2 world download. I love your hardcore build style, but find your Empires 2 build so inspirational. It was really fun. That was a really, really fun build to do. Gobland was so fun. I think it really made me realize where I want to push my building moving forward and like the texturing and then the wonky shapes and everything like that. Just being, having just more fun and breaking breaking the rules i felt i feel like for a long time my building was very much set by these rules of these shapes have to be in there this is how you make a house this blah 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 and goblin really just told me just like no throw it all out the window throw everything out the window and it's totally fine just like y'all need to leave a like on the stream and be totally fine if you did that <laughs> we got 2600 people in here we're not even at 1200 likes we're way under 50 percent 
Uh, German Garcia, thank you so much for the eight months. Just blame it on the toy. Yeah, we can do that. Umberfy, thank you so much for the five months. Happy you're back and glad the trip went well. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I do appreciate that. Uh, Elenia, thank you so much for the five months. Time flies. Hope you're doing well. Glad to catch another stream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll see. Hey, it wants to work. Look at that. Yay. The goblin special. You have a goblin child cake. Uh, I don't know if that's a goblin delicacy. I think that might be something from the Olipelago. I don't think we really, you know, serve that one. Okay. People are also just loading this up with trash. You know what? If anybody wants to sleep right now, they can do it themselves. I'm going to get rid of all the trash they're leaving in my base. We're going to just get rid of this chest. If I get rid of the chest, they can't put things in the chest. Right? That that would be a, a, a statement that could be true. Right. Now, now they lost hey, their up. place to put junk. Like some famous painters. Once you know the rules... You can bend and smile. Oh, totally. Totally. Thank you so much, Lulu. I really appreciate that dono. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And that is a very true statement. You got to learn the rules, and then you got to learn how to break the rules. That is uh, any art form. That's how you make something unique. You can always follow the rules and still make really good stuff. But if you want to really, like, step up to the next level, you got to learn how to break them. You got to honor them, but you can still learn how to break them. Just to play Pearl to come clean it up sometimes. Yeah, I don't know if Pearl wants to be a trash lady here too. That sounds like a lot of effort. I think she's already got her work cut out for doing it for all the hermits. If I were her, I would not want to be doing it a second place. Uh, ignore these chests. They're so very organized. Okay, uh, step one today. Step one today, we've got a job ahead of us where I need to make a bunch of item vaults. So I've realized flint can be useful. Flint is something that we can use that would be useful that I'm currently just literally throwing into the fire. I'm just letting it burn. Right here, if we see a piece of flint coming through. No, we're getting really good luck on the sand draws. How about a clay ball? Nope. Pleased to meet you. Da no, apparently we're only getting sand. All right. Well, anyways, Flint just goes right here into the fire. <laughs> and I want to stop that. So we need to get another brass funnel that we're going to set up right here. And we're going to set that for flint and we're going to install uh, another one of these item vaults just so we can store a ton of flint and we can figure out where we want to move it later just so we can have a lot ready to go when we need it if we want to do it for something else uh bloody thanks so much for the tier two membership and we got frank with the 10 gift members thank you so very much my friend i really do appreciate that thank you thank you thank you where's skyblock series skyblock series is taking a break for now I was having fun on the Skyblock series, but I just kind of got burnt out. Well, honestly, just was not enjoying playing. Uh, and then new life happened, and um, I would prefer to be playing on here. So, all right, so we need barrels and iron sheets. We have iron. You know where, you wanna know where we can get some iron sheets? The iron farm, boop. Look at that number. It's not zero anymore. Yeah. <laughs> ah. What is Flint used for? Uh, you can use it on a lot of things. One of them is for... No, that's not. That's... No, here we go. Uh... Flint we can use for... Da, 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 da. You can use it with... Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Here. You can use it with gravel and lava to make andesite, which 
if we can automate the production of andesite we can then automate the production of andesite alloy and then we can automate the production of andesite casings and then we just honestly if we can just automate andesite itself that is so much less mining i need to do so that's something that i kind of want to get set up soon also i just like the idea of having a ton of items um so this is a modded server yes 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 do i have a brass funnel in here no uh brass gotta get that brass funnel so we need an electron tube which is rose quartz Please okay we can do that uh da, 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 da. i need brass and i need dried kelp i have one brass ingot cool that's sorted and what is the electron tube again another iron sheet okay we got that going perfect uh and then we need a sandpaper and a rose quartz which that oh we already got an electron tube amazing wow and i already have four item vaults okay perfect i'm thinking we do nine item vaults just to give ourselves a little bit more space there should be a dried kelp in here somewhere i know i have some extra and i put it in there <laughs> don't tell pearl nope oh no oh no 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 <laughs> why <laughs> Oh, okay. All right. Well, that's where we're going. That's that's where we're going today. <laughs> we're just pulling everything out. Okay. <laughs> hey, you learn something every day. All right. Cool. Okay. Um, we also need a bunch of barrels, which we can just use all of this oak to make our barrels. And then we need one, two, three, four, five. Perfect. I was trying to get the flint that was in one of these. There we go. We just need one of those to create the filter. <laughs> okay. You know, it's fine. We're okay. It's totally fine. See? Flint! Flint! Nice to meet you. Look! Flint go! Flint go fire! Waste. That is called waste. And then in here, we can just grab one of these. And we're just going to shove him right here. And that's going to be a in. We just have to right click with that. And then can I please place this? Did I get it? I did. OK, cool. <laughs> it's hard to see. I guess I could just like go. Wee. Yeah, there we go. Oh, I don't want to walk that way. That would be death. Instant death? No. I don't want to go that way. Ooh, I didn't realize I could go under here. <gasps> I love it. Why is there sand in there? I don't know. I've been taking that sand out and moving it over here to smelt it into more bricks. And uh, I'm really hoping we can get this brick production to fill up a lot faster here. But it's uh, not quite getting there yet. Right, uh, this guy, I'm just going to jump. Oh, no. Hello, shrink, please. I'm not press. I'm not pressing anything. <laughs> It'll be fine. Just run under the lava. It'll be totally fine. Okay, that'll go and get picked up. Why am I? I'm caught on the gear. Ah! any major base plans that's gonna be what we're working on now of we can go up here we can go this way we can climb our way up to the tippity top and this does not go all the way around but we can walk around that that is what we're gonna be working on today i need to level that and i uh ooh, 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 ooh. you saw nothing you saw nothing 
except the like button that you shall click to support your local flipper. I blame lag. Oh no, I clicked a button and it's lagging. Ah, this is rough. Oh, I forgot to type. Ah. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay. In dumb ways to die, falling off the roof of your own building. Who would do that? <laughs> right? Yeah. No, definitely. Definitely not me. Definitely not me. Okay, so we can dig this here like that and leave a bunch of floating grass. Oh, this is going to be really bad, isn't it? But my thought is we're going to run over here to this section and I'm going to pillar up just to give you all a little bit of a better view from the top of I want to turn this into the farming district. So I want to relocate all of the tree farms that we have. I want to relocate all of the crop farms that we have and just turn it into like a old school, like Western, not Western, but just like kind of that same style that we have working in over there and bring it into here. But like, I'm thinking like classic red barn type stuff and uh, just the works. Do that out here, get some long crop fields stretching off this distance. We're gonna also gonna have some tree farms out here. And I think it's gonna be really cool. I think it's gonna be a really, really good way of doing things. First, we're gonna need to just get a bunch of dirt gathered up which we're going to do just by taking down everything. Oh, that is a long delay. We might get a we might restart the server. I'm on two bars though. That is rough. Oh, three bars, three bars. That's that's progress. Will you give my daughter Addy a shout out and tell her your dog's names? Much love. All right, we're going to restart the server real quick, uh, and then we'll come back and do all that cool stuff and get to work. It'll be great. Who's that from? Jenny, thank you so much for the dono. And hi, Abby, how you doing? My doggos are Coda and Nova. They're snoozing downstairs right now, hanging out. Uh, we're just going to let three. OK, there we go. Server's restarting. Is the server 1.20? No, the server's on 1.19, just to make things a little bit easier. But Jenny, hope you and Abby are having a great day. Thank you so much for hanging out here and hope you two are having a good one. All right, who did I miss earlier? We got Kells. Thank you so much for coming to support her. Bex, thank you so much for coming to support her. Uh, da, 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 da. Am I on Twitch? No, I'm just on YouTube right now. Nope, nope. All my live streaming is on the YouTube side, just to keep it all in one place for myself. And I think it works out great. <laughs> You should do different skins for each origin, like the old New Life. Um, I decided to not because anytime I logged in on a new skin, it was posted everywhere over Twitter, and all it, it was all over Twitter, it was all over Tumblr, and everything like that of just people being like, "Oh my God, new skin upload!" Blah 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 blah. So I decided this time I'm just gonna be a little bit more chill and just keep going and also this way because last time it was die you have to end the video because then i would find out what my new origin is and then i would reach out to an artist to get the new origin made and then it's three days later and i have the new skin and then i can start recording the next episode so there's just so much downtime in all of it um that it was just really like cumbersome to record of if you ever died it was okay that is the end of the video because you i just can't do it you can hide it on name mc yeah you that doesn't work <laughs> there's people still find it there's a million and one ways people are able to find the skins and everything so it's it's i decided this time i also never 
play with my default skin unless it's a single player series so i figured that this time i wanted to just do my own default stuff just for fun just because one also greedily nobody ever makes fan art of my default skin <laughs> it's always the character skins and things like that so i was like this time i'm just gonna go in the default so it's just there it is that um as much as i enjoyed goblin flip and everything in there it kind of i was just like nah, i kind of want like the just classic flip and art and everything like that you always wait to put on new skins until you're on stream if that's a worry well it's the if you log in on a skin and log in a multiplayer server it's instantly attached to your profile and people can find it that way so yeah I just like my default skin I don't know I just wanted to use the default one that's that was the main reasoning and also just I don't know I think there's a lot of things that like it's I've talked about it a few times it's one of those things where we have the power to reveal what we want to reveal instead of videos and that's a really important thing of like you controlling when things are announced and how they're going and then something completely out of your control just happens and for me it just kind of ruins things a touch Ooh seems to be okay how's block lag doing <gasps> a block so I don't know I I know it's not probably I know some people really enjoy that type of stuff and seeing it all in there and I get that I, I do but I just can't be bothered I I just like just want to use the default one it's the main reason okay uh let's do this bam bam how do I do this again I need the I need a lever there's a lever okay all right how many rails do we have in here do we have enough we have five rails uh let's go grab a few more rails and just throw in an extra stack or so just because I keep running out of them they just keep over time every single time I break the thing and move it it loses two rails uh just because they're still on the ground So I want to fix that. Will, thank you so much for coming to remember, my dude. I really appreciate that. Also, Anima. Wee! Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for the 17 months. I really do appreciate that. Let's bring like that. 44 should be fine. Look at that machine majestically sitting on the hillside, ready to destroy everything. What? There we go. Had to get in range. Whoop. Ready? Destruction! Yeah. Now we're destructioning. Oh, yeah. Look at that. I guess I could have started it a little closer to the hill. Ah, oh, we're breaking things. Look at that. Woo! Yay! Breaking the hill. It's still pretty laggy. <laughs> oh man, this server has been rough. We have some mods that are just causing issues that we can't find and they are starting to cause a lot of issues. Uh, as we say on the server, me, 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 me. We'll wait for somebody else because my, my machine's running away. Okay, okay. We caught it before it fell off the cliff. That's fine. 240-ish <laughs> mods will do that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pretty much. And we can level this off down here. I should probably just do this upper section myself. No. No. That's not create mod of me. Come on now. I know better. So yeah, every time I just have to go over there and place those in. It could be the animal spawn rates causing a lag. No, it's it's I wish it was something that simple, but no, it's a it's a rough one. Okay, uh, we place this back down. We whoop. Swoop to whoop. Whoop, boo. 
Yes. Oh, we got an extra ladder there. Oh no. R and R. Okay, can I just jump up here? Whoop. I don't know how level I want this. I still want it to be like rolling hills, but they need to be like flatter rolling hills because I need to be able to run create machines along them. So maybe we just like, realistically though, do I need that many crops? If it's auto harvesting and running the entire time, do I really need that much? I think that's kind of the thing that we need to decide is how, how many crops is too many crops? A question you never thought Flip would be asking. By the way, still sad. Still sad. Just going to throw it out there, Mojang, if you're listening. Oh, no. Okay. Uh, that you can't get torch flower seeds out of a torch flower. Just going to throw that out there. So, just going to throw it out there. Sorry for bringing something sad up in the chat today. Uh, but I just felt like it had to be said of a... Uh, the decision to no longer get torch flower seeds out of torch flowers can we get an f can we get an f in the chat please but now we dig <laughs> disgusted by the question <laughs> thank you thank you thank you thank you so many f's we need a lot a lot of f's in the chat please I appreciate you sharing your sympathy with me. Ooh. No, we'll cover this. I kind of like the idea of a little waterfall being in here, though. Oh, we are leggy, leggy, leggy. All right. We could have this up here and have, like, a cool cliff face around the edge. So this could be this layer, and then we can slowly just, like do like a little like step down thing because it is after after we pick this up because it's almost done but if we come up here we'll bring this whole hill down but you can see it already kind of like naturally slopes my original plan was to kind of like cover over this bay here and turn that all into farmland too just like have the hill like sloping down to like a beach over there that we can do that's gonna be a lot of dirt that's gonna be a lot of dirt so let's bring this all down up here a little bit more and then i don't need to bring it up as high off of that section moving forwards i guess if any of that logic i don't think it did but i really should just get a bigger drill i think that's the issue I think the issue is my drill is too small. I don't know about you all, but I think we just make it bigger. <laughs> but for now, this guy will do. You can make a covered cove or a dock. Yeah, I really want like an industrial dock. I know we can only do trains and things, but that's what I want to do later today, by the way, after we finish this digging, because I don't want to get into like placing all the dirt today. We might. Who knows? We'll see where the world takes us, where the day takes us. Uh, just like you all should uh, sc scroll on down and leave a like on the stream. Thank you. We have almost 3000 people in here. We're not even at 2000 likes. I believe I believe we get 2000 likes. Yeah, right. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh, but anyways, I'm thinking like a cool industrial dockyard over on that edge could be fun and like along the beach and everything. So that could be a cool way to do it. And then outside of that, I really want to get into planning where the train tracks are going to go. I think we can, we got to plan out the train tracks infrastructure and then once the infrastructure is ready to go and all that stuff, it'll be much easier to add in buildings around it. That's kind of a route that I'm leaning towards. Blocky will make you many boats if you have dock. That is a deal I can go for. 
I just need to make like Admiral Blocky somewhere in every single one of my worlds because Blocky builds so many ships for me. Sorry, Blocky, you have to get rid of the SGT. I don't know if it stands for Sergeant or not, but uh, you Please need to be you. Admiral now. Uh, Beauty of the Gamer, thank you so much for the two months. Uh, Chihoodle, thank you so much for coming to support her. I think I got that. And May, thank you so much for the two months. Just want to say thank you for all that you do. You've inspired me to be creative. I've learned to crochet because of you. I never thought, I'll be honest, I never thought somebody would say that they started crocheting because of me. Pleased to meet you. But, you know, if it got you doing something that you enjoy, that's that's amazing. <laughs> it's not what I would have expected to hear, but I'm here for it. <laughs> hope, you enjoy, hope you keep enjoying it. That's awesome. Sam with the 17 months. Hello. How you doing? Welcome on in, my friend. Oh, we missed one. Can I beat it? Can I beat it? Do you think I can beat it? I can beat it. I can. Oh, easy. Get wrecked, drill. Oh, no. We hit stone. <laughs> Will the next new life title be I built a brand new district in a modern Minecraft episode four? You forgot the parentheses around the episode four. Uh, no, I have no idea. Probably something farming district. I built a mega farm. And hardcore Minecraft New Life SMP emotional. Nobody can beat me at digging. Ah, you stupid drill. I left blocks down though. He, he, this drill auto collects blocks, so we like it. Who's the nice to meet you guy? Uh, it's from World of Warcraft. I think it's a gnome. I think it's one of the lines when you talk to like a gnome, just like random citizen around the world. They have a chance to say it. Oh, we're full. We are not going to talk about what happened here. It is gone now. We're not going to talk about it. <laughs> We're not. Nothing happened. Actually, I don't know what you're talking. Nothing happened, actually. Nothing happened. Not. I don't know what y'all are going on about, chat. There's nothing happened here. It's like Jar Jar Binks. Could be. I think a windmill could be cool. Yeah, we're definitely going to get some industrial windmill things out here. This is not a single episode project. I'm just throwing that out there. I know I like to finish builds in single episodes. This is not one of those. Are we full? No, we're not quite yet. Oh, we got a whole double chest up here. Honestly, I think I'm just going to slap more chests on the back of it. Chicken, stay up there if you know it's good for you. It's a little loud. We're making progress. making progress was that my first time picking up a poppy no tulip i was like there's no way <laughs> there's no way or is there this is gonna be a fun terraforming project to do this this is gonna be a fun one i'm excited about it i'm also nervous about it i'm oh oh no Okay. 
breathe. It's okay. Oh, it's it's in uh, it's in entity mode. Look at all that dirt, though. Look at all that dirt. All right, we're gonna take a break from the drilling for a second. Lucky, lucky tiger kitten. Thank you so much for becoming a member. I appreciate that. The stress in the dude. If I lost my drill and all of the items inside of it. Uh, 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 that's about as high pitched as I can go. Ow. Ow. Although, so I think I missed it. Lily Cosplay Pirate, thanks so much for becoming a member. I do appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, we want chess. Pleased to meet you. I think I could run around my house before this chest opens. We're gonna try it. I'll be back. Gotta run around the house. Maybe it'll be open. I make it? I don't know. Come here. But I did find a dog. I did find a dog. <laughs> Are you stretching? Are you getting big stretchies? Are you getting into big stretchies? Hi, how are you? Oh, yes, how are, how are you doing? This is Nova. Yeah, I know. It, it kind of, it never opened. Yeah, that makes sense. Hi, how are you doing, Gertie? How are you doing, little Gertie girl? She was snoozing and saw me walking. And she was like, oh, I have to go say hello. I have to go say hello. We should probably try to lock back into the game. Yeah, okay, bye. Gotta go back to your mandatory morning snoozel. I get it. Purple smile, thanks for the uh, seven months. Is your pollen allergy a pain in the moment like mine? I think I'm pretty okay now. Most of the bloom is gone here. Last few weeks though. Oh, when we were down in Arizona, the all the palm trees were blooming and that was killing me. Vibing Vampire, thanks so much for becoming my supporter. I appreciate it. Maybe we can get back in the game now. We'll see. Mm -hmm. Got timed out right after you left. <laughs> is Nova a Pomsky? No, she's a Malamute. Wouldn't you believe it? You see how big she is? <laughs> no, she's she's our... She's our 40-pound full-grown Malamute. <laughs> if anybody's familiar with Malamutes, they're much more than 40 pounds typically but we love her all right server is hard struggling She's only about 40, 45 pounds. Coda is like 65. 2K likes. Did we get it? Did we get it? Did we get it? We did it. Oh no. My whole time lapse. I was going to time lapse destroying it. All right. You know what? Fine. It's a different camera angle. That's how we'll do it. We'll just say it's a different time. It was a different camera angle. Pleased to meet you. I thought my drill was gone. I was about to have a heart attack. Where's my glue? There's my glue. 
pleased to meet you. Unfortunate Kate, thank you so much for the five months. We got Stephanie, thank you so much for becoming a member. Nova should have her own channel. She does not need that stress in her life. She's got a very, very rigorous schedule already, can't you tell? Right. I forgot. Rails. And we're off! I feel like it's going faster. Could just be my brain playing tricks on me though. Aha. Art assembler. Agur. That is so scary. I think that's also partially why I don't want to expand the top. If I expand the top any further, that could mean death. Sheep? Sheep, no! Sheep, no! Sheep! Sheep, come this way! Ah, oh, chicken. Ah! Not the chicken! Not the gumdrop buttons! Okay, side note though, uh, I finally watched the uh, Puss in Boots movie on the plane. Pretty good. Was pleasantly surprised. I actually really enjoyed it. Oh, there goes another chicken. <laughs> oh, poor buddy. I need to set up caution tape. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Hey, so I suddenly really need to go and work over on this side. Suddenly I really have a need to go work over here. I think we just manually mine for a little while. We're gonna take this as like our first strip. I kind of want to just like block it out for now and then I'll come back in and add the variation stuff later. I think a cool cliff there is, would be fun. That'll probably be one of our stream terraform projects we gotta work on. You know what? I think we can have one up here. Then we can have some like non-harvested farmland like rolling down the hills. And then we'll have like a few sections with harvested because if this entire place is being used for something, uh, Scott might ban me from the server. So in an effort to keep playing on new life, Thank you. Uh, we're going to have some of this being decorative. Sorry, chicken. You did a great job, but your best was not enough. When is the next hardcore out? Does tomorrow work? Does to uh, chat, does tomorrow work with your schedule to post the next hardcore video? If, if we can all get a consensus on tomorrow works, that would be great. Cause then, then I'll go ahead. I'll go, I'll go ahead and post tomorrow. Wait, why would you be banned for causing even more lag on the server than we already have? <laughs> Got meetings all day. All right. So, all right, everybody. Egg says they're busy. So uh, we're going to have to rethink that one. Unless uh, eggs, if you're okay with catching up on the notes post 
That'd be great. Then we can still have the... We can still have it. How about today? No, no, it's not ready yet today. You can't can't reveal it early. Don't be silly. Okay. Okay. These cobblestone splinters are so annoying. You should create a farm and stuff like that, please. Yeah, we're that, that's the goal. That's the goal. Eventually, we're going to make this into a big old farm. Big old farmland area. Oh, it's a hole. Are you feeling spoiled by the create mod? really yes and no i mean it's been really fun to work with if that's what you're saying okay so i'm thinking we come out this we're gonna need to double layer all this dirt so we can put water sources in so we'll do the edges double layered and then i'll be lazy and not do the middle double layered That'll be filled into there. This all needs to... Yeah, this all needs to come down a lot. Okay. We're gonna start from like here and just start taking it all down. Tear it down. The roots and everything. <gasps> I forgot the lever, rail, thingy, blah, whatever this is. River through the farmland. Yeah, I we could keep the bay in here. Okay, chat. New potential idea. What if this this turns into the harbor? What if like this turns into the harbor? We do like a big U-shape like dock around here, have a cool steamboat, and then we just fill in and connect this island up. Cause then we could do buildings in like a big U around it. And we could have like the train foundry on this side. We reserve just the top of the hill for the farming things. And we do logging somewhere else. Yeah. <gasps> Wandering trader, what do you have? Besides free leads. I don't need any of that. It is good stuff, so you shall live. Rice fields? A rice field would be pretty fun. Nope. Yeah, okay. I think we got that. I think we got the plan. Good job, chat. You help him make the build even better. Okay, so that's gonna go to about there. Uh, we're definitely gonna need to like... Actually, we can just do it from like here. So I want to tear out that stone too and then get that going. It's a natural harbor. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, No, that's true. That's true. I get very in my head sometimes when I'm building a Minecraft that I stop looking at the landscape and I start creating my own, which has its pluses and its minuses. Like there is some good stuff that comes from me just terraforming and making my own stuff. I mean, if we want to do full natural harbor, we would open that up and do probably along the river here, but this will work as more ex for a more exposed area. And that'll help the buildings being from there. And then we can have buildings here. And then Catherine's up there. 
there's the pirate ship I raided. Sorry, a little free cam. A little, a little extra free cam footage. Yeah, because we can fill all of this in here, which I can just do now, I think. I don't, actually, I probably don't have the dirt. Free cam of the island. The whole island you actually can't capture on free cam. Uh, I have to use a mod called Bobby to get a higher render distance to be able to see it all. And that, for me, when I'm streaming, I have to turn down a touch. It works great in recordings, but... It a, adds a wee little bit of lag on the ser for me. It's only client side, so it's not like server lag. It's just FPS drops. Hello, live chicken. How are we doing today? Thriving? Missing your friends? Yeah, I get it. Let's go here. And send it off. It's like it, it could be a dodo bird, you never know. You're late. No worries, my friend. Welcome on in. No worries at all. What, mar what mods are on this SMB? There's like 200. I couldn't even list them all if I tried. And, uh, and it's not on me to give the public mod list out. So, sorry. I, I do not have it. I guess we can manually mine some of this stuff with create or with our own pickaxe. Ugh. Back into the stone age. Or I could just cover it with dirt. Welcome to the cave, chicken. We gotta watch that, otherwise it will just roll off the hill. Please don't, please don't, please don't, please don't, please don't. Okay, perfect timing. Mew. Come over here, and we can do a boop, boop. Let's take a few pieces of dirt, and we can just send it, and we can keep placing. <gasps> There's a second chicken! Wow. in there this is we're gonna have to trade out all that stone up there for more dirt but it's okay what happens if it rolls off the edge it'll just keep going on forever <laughs> until its momentum stops those those things only give it like 100 or 200 blocks of momentum and then it just they just kind of slowly putter out you should make an aquarium would be cool I feel like though, like so many people on the server are making aquariums right now because we have all the cool fish. Everybody, everybody has a koi. <laughs> Every single person on the server has a koi fish in their house. Tell me I'm wrong. Maybe except for uh, Stacy because she lives in the nether and it's probably not a great environment for koi. Joel definitely has a fish.
Griff definitely had a fish tank. Kayla, thank you so much for the eight months. I think I missed that one a little while ago. And Stephanie, Renee, thank you so much for becoming a member. Sorry, I missed you both. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I really do appreciate it. We're back above 900 members, my friends. We're, back, we're at 910 right now. It's been a while. We normally sit around the 800 point, so I really do appreciate all the support, everybody. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Can I just manually turn through this? It looks like it's all dirt. Yeah. Oh, no, we could die. Depends how much the grass wants to not be working. Creepbot is great for getting, like, the big things done, but we're definitely going to have to come back throughout most of this terrain and uh, get actual shapes in here and make it look a lot better. Cause, like, this works for, like, clearing out the zone, but it doesn't look natural with just big, long strips. I wonder if there's a way, because I know you can make flying machines that go in big circles. I wonder if there's a way to make a create machine that just goes in a big circle. Yeah, it's great for blocking out areas. No, this is perfect. If we can get this whole slope done today, I'll be very happy. Scott doesn't have fishies. Scott doesn't have a fish. I'm surprised at that one. Scar's plane. Yeah, well, yeah. Oh, yeah, I guess if you just take a mine... Well, then you have to lay it on the entire minecart track to get the circle to begin with. So that doesn't really help us. I guess if you did that and did, like, a big drill around it, that could work. Because Scar's plane is on a predefined track where this is just... This is going. This is just following, like, its own thing that's doing how are we looking up here yeah we got to bring it down a lot farther oh hi pillagers this is okay though it's progress it's definitely progress uh we're just gonna focus on like this moving out that way that's i think is the best for now Yeah, because <laughs> if I focus on the whole thing, I'm going to be a little confused. Which type of field? We're probably going to plant a bunch of them. I'd love to have like a lot of different crops in here just growing up. And I want to use a pulley system instead of the little like spinny thing that we have right now, because I've heard it works a lot better on the server on servers. So I gotta start figuring out how to do one of those. And from what I understand, they go in long, they can go in straight lines only. But if it just like goes back and like forward and back and then just like keeps going, like just does that, we can just make like little like 10 by 10 areas. We'll probably have one section that's all the machines doing their thing. And then we'll have another section or two that's just really decorative. then here we're gonna bring this and send it backwards i didn't pick up the stuff yet so we're not gonna do that actually that's a terrible idea <laughs> but this right here we're gonna send do, do, do. actually no you're gonna go here and a whoop Actually, I want the dirt. I don't want the cobble. And we can just throw the flowers in here too. And the chicken, sure. The chicken deserves to stay with its murderer, I guess. <laughs> it's fine. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, we're back. Build a gravestone. Did the chicken deserve a grave? I don't know. Drill down the pillagers. <laughs> I wonder if I'd get bad omen because I started the thing. 
Do you have to manually empty the chest attached to the drill? Currently, yes, but you can definitely build systems that you can unload from. Are y'all on 1.20 in this world? No. Modded servers usually update very, very late. Oh no, oh no, no, stop. Oh, we caught it right before it fell. I keep forgetting this. I'm supposed to be picking that up each time. Pleased to meet you. Whoop. And whoop. Sorry, I'm in like a zone out mode today. Cody, thank you so much for coming to support him, my friend. I really do appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Really nothing happens if it falls. It's just gonna kind of keep going on its merry way. Do you think Jimmy's gonna hit 1 million subs soon? Has he not already? Not that I'm like, <laughs> poor Jimmy. What is he at? Yeah, he's at 987,000. He's going to hit it probably tomorrow. I'd be surprised if he doesn't hit it by Friday. We're going to assume that was coal because there's coal right here. Oh, we're hanging over the edge. Should be fine. We'll put those back and then boop. Give me tips to start a village build. I have a few things on my channel that are kind of talking about how to build cities and villages and whatnot. Honestly, just if you're looking to get started and you've never done it before. Oh, that's not going to work. I thought I could break it and it would carry me on. Uh, look at all the Minecraft villager professions and build a house for each one of the villagers. That's honestly the easiest way to start a village project is just to be like, you know what? Minecraft has all of these. These, if I were to build one for every single one, would probably make up to being an entire village. That's really all you need. So once you get that in there, you're kind of set. Like that's that's a village. <laughs> a village is just a bunch of houses of people living together. It doesn't have to have anything fancy to it. You can make the drill go faster if you attach other things to it. I'm just using the default speed because we don't need it to go any faster. Out the me 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 that's only if people aren't sleeping that's, you can only pull out the me 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 if you need others to sleep oh see there's coal yeah we're not killing things no it's just coal it's just yeah just just coal definitely all coal <laughs> We're good. Yeah, we are all real, set for drilling. Hi, F -whip. Hey, Mega, thanks so much for the dono. Welcome on in. Welcome, 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 welcome. We are currently in the process of dismantling a mountain, which we will then come back and make look pretty with dirt. I want to start a new district inside of here because I don't want to just be building factory, 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 factory every single video. And we're on a streak of two and I don't want to have a third factory in a row. So instead, we're going to be building a farming factory. Sorry, uh, farmhouse. Not a factory in any way, shape or form. Somewhere we're just going to get a bunch of crops and everything. And I want to get like a big storage area for it all. I think it'd be fun. Oh, all right, so you see here, 
how it's falling. That's that's what happens when it goes over the edge. Oh, da, 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 da. It must blow up my machine. It's fine. Totally fine. Nothing to worry about here at all. No factories were built in the making of this video. No. I do have plans for a power plant because I need to do that to just get like super amounts of power that we can use. And I think I'm going to consult the create mod experts of YouTubes because I've been seeing a few videos of people who's like, here's your ultimate all you need power source factory in create mod. So I think I'm going to like kind of find a few things like that and just be like, yeah, just schematic cannon them in, which is cool because then I can have it and I can also be like, it was built by this person and then it's just built instead of doing much else. <laughs> I just have to gather the materials at that point and that sounds great. Okay, uh, let's go to like here and bring it down some more. Cobblestone splinters just fill up the inventory, man. I don't want them. Infinite lava pool. Yeah, we're going to need to do an infinite lava pool, which I think is like 10,000 sources of lava. But from what it looks like, you can use a dripstone farm to fill the lava thing. So you can have the dripstone farm that I have producing the lava going into the tank. But instead of going in the tank, you can just have a spout like spilling it out into somewhere, I think. And then you can use that as a way to... Uh, fill up an entire area for lava and that would be a really nice because I'm not getting 10,000 buckets of lava myself you can also have a train going into the nether that would be pretty cool create makes minecraft not minecraft yeah but I kind of want that when I'm doing modded stuff like I want something different if I'm playing modded, I want to be playing modded because that way it doesn't feel like Minecraft. Sure, it looks like Minecraft, but to me, this isn't Minecraft. <laughs> and it's kind of cool to be able to play something else on the channel, pretty much. Pleased to meet you. Is there a creeper spawner down here? I thought I was going to be able to smack him out of the teleport. Did not work. Erica, thanks so much for the 10 months. And Mega, thank you so much for becoming a member, my dude. I mean, Erica with the tier two, all that create stuff would be too overwhelming for me. I had to start so small. Oh my gosh, I had to start so small with it. There's a person, uh, Ubersui, I believe is their channel name. Uh, they do create mod videos and they have a video on their channel that is purely for how to get started with the create mod. And I think that is the only reason that I was actually able to comprehend how to start with the create mod. <laughs> it's like a 50 minute video where he walks you through every single step you need to know to get started. Uber Sweet is, uh, they do a really good job with all the create mod stuff. And they're so calming. Their voice is just so relaxing. <laughs> it makes me angry. No, I'm kidding. Uh, or maybe. I feel like I'm almost playing with like world painter or world like world edit right now. Just using that to block out large areas. And then we're going to come back in and dirt and level them. <laughs> it's fine. We'll be okay. What's going on? Just came in here. Uh, we're working on destroying a mountain. It's great. We're having a fun time. Super fun. So fun. 
you see how it's starting to slow down drill a little slower it's because it's been rolling for too long it's losing its momentum no 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 too quick too quick okay uh so like i mentioned earlier or uh i got back from vacation last week and me trying to get back into minecraft mode this week even still today i feel like i'm just like what am i doing what game am i playing what what is this how does one pickaxe I also finally bought a new mouse. Very excited. Uh, it's the same one that I had, but I just got a new one uh, because the scroll wheel was breaking on my old one. I think I talked about it on streams like three weeks ago and I was like mad that it was starting to break and I finally was like, I'm ordering a new one. <laughs> I was trying to build in hardcore on Sunday and just get some stuff done. And I was just like, ah! <laughs> It was one of those things where I got used to it when I was uh, before I left for vacation. And then I get back from vacation. And I'm just like, how did anybody ever play without a scroll wheel? <laughs> Would you ever use a vertical mouse? Like one of those ones where like you hold like that. They're good for your wrists. I probably should because my wrists are not the best. So I probably should. But I just don't like I don't like them. Uh, Prince Ewens, thank you so much for the year, my dude. Finally got a big tree. Thank you so very much for all that support. I really do appreciate that. Um, but what I really like on my mouse, if you can see, there we go. Yeah, it has the, I have one of those, the Corsair scimitar that has all the buttons on the side and that corresponds to the hotkeys here. So I don't need to press the hotkeys on my keyboard. I just press them on, I just press them on uh, the mouse. So all I'm using on my keyboard is like E for inventory, my origin abilities and WSD to move around. It's a phone. <laughs> hello. Yes, yes, hello. Corsair makes a good product and it's cheaper than the Razer one. Um, which is always nice but the scroll wheel it's like a known problem and you can get a new one if the scroll wheel breaks on you but in order to get a new one you have to ship them your old one so they can verify it's broken before they send you a new one and that just sounds and then you don't have a mouse for like three weeks and i'm like uh i guess i could just like send my back my old one in right now that i just gave up because it's definitely still within warranty that thing was only like six months old I think it's a year warranty. I got a Razor Mouse with the numpad on it because of Final Fantasy 14. Oh yeah, I got into using these because of World of Warcraft. 100%. If you play an MMO, you need a 12 button mouse. Sounds like a whole process and a half. Yeah, it's annoying. They used to also make, they don't really make them much anymore, but they used to make a mouse that was geared towards ARPG players. So like Diablo, that was just like your six buttons that you have for your abilities on there. And I love those things, but the 12, no, 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 no. Okay, thank you for not blowing up the machine. Fine. Okay, they're not following anymore. It's fine. I'll just check makes a great MMO mouse. Yeah, I ordered one. Uh, my buddy Will, who I play games with a, a bunch, um, he's uh, he's whenever I stream like non Minecraft things, he's usually hanging out in there. Uh, he has one of those, and so I decided to order one. It gets here on Wednesday. That has like the three but the three mouse clicks, and then also has all the, like the twelve side buttons and an extra two top buttons or something. And I'm like, I don't know what I'm going to do with all these buttons. I'm about to murder some skeletons, though. You ready for this? You ready for this? You ready for this? Yeah. That was planned, by the way. 
100% planned. I knew exactly how far away I was. <laughs> What's that? Green? That's a create block that got added in called, uh, oh. If it drops, there we go. Viridium, what can you use it for? Viridium, ooh, hey, that looks good. What can you use it for? So if you crush it, it gives you copper. Cool. Fun. Okay, inventory is full. So we got a dump. A dump 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 da dump 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 da dump 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 I don't know if it matters if they're all stuck together or not, but we're gonna do it. It's a building block basically, but yes you can crush your copper. Yeah. That's kinda what I figured. How are we seeing the slope on this guy now? We're gonna tear that back a good amount just manually. But that's yeah, from where we were before, now we have like this coming down. I think honestly, we bring it down like we level that off and then we bring this down one more and then we just call it and then we start working on shaping. I think that'll work. Food, food, I need food. Yay. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Churn and through. Slowly. When does new video come out? Tomorrow. No, don't fall off. Not that edge. Not that edge. Oh. <laughs> Koi. It's fine. <laughs> totally fine. No issues whatsoever. For those complaining about the ads, they do go directly to support me. So I really do appreciate everybody who does take the time to watch them. And uh, honestly, can't even apologize for them being there because uh, it's how I keep this as a full time job. So thank you for watching the advertisement so I can make money and upload content for you to enjoy for free. Yeah, the amount of people get upset about ads. I get it. Like Twitch's way of doing ads, terrible. They do an awful job with advertisements. They are so invasive, but I feel like the YouTube ones aren't too bad. Especially on YouTube, because you can rewind and watch at double speed, and you get caught up so quick. But ads on Twitch will be like, here's three minutes of advertisements when you click on a stream, and I'm like, new stream. <laughs> no, thank you. I would turn them off for members if I could. How do you get compensated for premium watchers? Uh, if you have YouTube premium, basically, YouTube would say, all right, we're going to play an ad for this user and then it says oh they have youtube premium okay so we're not going to play an ad for them but we're going to still give that revenue as if they watched the ad to the creator so youtube premium is like major stonks it it'll means you don't get ads ever and then the creator still gets paid which is great it's like twitch turbo but i don't think you get much money off of twitch turbo like you do on YouTube premium for the creators themselves. Yeah, Twitch ads are awful. Which unfortunately got me to buy Twitch Turbo. <laughs> yeah, I got YouTube premium like a year or two ago and it's fantastic. Being able to download videos when you're traveling, honestly really nice. If you're like taking a plane flight or something and you're like, I don't really want to watch Netflix. Or I can't log into Netflix because they say I don't live here when I'm on an airplane, and yeah, I don't live here. You're right. Yeah, 
Yeah, all the ad revenue is treated like a normal video. Homie, a little aggressive on the teleporting. All right, that's gonna be how we do. I'm really excited to see this happen in the time lapse. <laughs> YouTube music premium as well. Yeah, that's true. Iron. Okay. Uh, da -da 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 -da. We're just gonna do a bunch of those. So it's a marker for me. Actually, uh, just so we don't lose it, because server crashy. Uh, and we've been streaming for an hour and a half. I'm going to re-log real quick. And then we'll come back and keep working. I just want to save that time lapse. Because if I lose that, that would be big sad for the video. The snooze and everything happened at once. Uh, we destroyed Mountain. We, we, we drilled through Mountain. It is great. We just have to wait for this to save. Mm. Hi, Fire Pixie. How you doing? Uh, da, 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 da. I've clicked away from so many streams on Twitch because of immediate ads. Yeah, they're just so invasive. Like, they're so... And just Twitch doesn't have a good, easy way to, like, rewatch things or like like go back in time like 30 seconds on a stream so like it's just annoying youtube at least does a decent job of um like allowing you to scroll back so you can catch what you missed really easily but yeah just got here what are we doing we're saving a replay right now then we're gonna jump back on yeah, the YouTube streaming going back in time is great, but then also bad because if you're buffering, it will just slowly move you back and then you're not most up to date and then chat is like off from what you're seeing versus what they are. And then you have to refresh to see it. So it's got its own issues, but yeah, I don't know. At least we're not kick. <laughs> I don't know. I shouldn't be saying that, but yeah, it's every platform has their own problems. You just gotta, you gotta pick which one you enjoy. Honestly, pick which creators you enjoy and then just deal with what prob problems come from the platforms. All right, let's go back in. I had to reload chat because I said only subs could chat, but I'm subbed. I don't know. Sometimes it do be like that. It don't gotta be like it, but it do. Oop. All right, we're gonna need to mine all that stuff out, mostly because I want to use it for building. We're gonna do that now. My inventory is a mess. I have an idea. Let's throw the cart down. <laughs> this could be one of my stupidest ideas I've had. But at the same time, <laughs> mobile storage room. <laughs> okay, we're going to leave this here for a bit while we go and do some digging. <laughs> Cause look at this. Who needs a backpack? We activate it and then we just pick her up. Mobile storage. <laughs> I never need to empty it. I can just keep adding more chests. Yes. Uh, 
<laughs> All right, I know what I'm doing in the future. <laughs> oh, I've got so many ideas in my brain right now for a video. Oh gosh. I think it might be next episode. Uh, yeah, I know. Okay, I know what I'm doing for a bit in next episode. Okay. <laughs> I'm not spoiling it, but I've got an idea. And I'm gonna run with it. Mostly just want the green block. Store to buy a mobile storage room? Wait, that's a better idea. That's that's a good idea. <laughs> I just need to recreate that meme about slapping the hood of the car. You see how many storage rooms we can fit inside of this thing? Support a server. I thought I heard a zombie that was near me. Oh no! Oh no! You're fine. You're you're a professional. I believe in you. New profile picture. Yeah, we. I got about two weeks ago. I'm loving it. I'm really happy with it. Okay, we're gonna leave this here and just like dig out to the side. And if I need more, we can come get it. Because otherwise, I think we're gonna spend a long time here digging, and uh, we have blocks to be placing. Realistic goblin sales cart? Yeah. What time period would you say the buildings are that I'm like building right now? If you had to like put them down, do you think it's like 1800s? Like, do you think cars would exist? I'm really hoping to. Okay, yeah, it's not that long. We're thinking like a yes or a no on a car. I guess that's a decision for me to make, but. 1900s? Or like early 1900s? So like cars would def like so Like rail cars definitely are here because we're going to use railroads. For sure using railroads. Okay. Steam car maybe. That can be kind of fun to work on. Look at how much dirt we have. Oh my. Oh my god. Wait, let's. Probably a bit easier to move everything else out of here, but these are gonna be our dirt boxes. <laughs> Stupid thought. Stupid thought, not gonna do it, but you can fill a backpack with minecart contraptions so. of chess. <laughs> Think about how much storage you'd have then. Pearl's gonna hate me. bag of holding <laughs> see the secret about the bag of holding is you can put a bag of holding in the bag of holding and then you have infinite bags of holding you just keep putting bags of holding in the bag of holding okay we got almost three double chests of dirt out of this we definitely got three double chests of dirt out of this I like this. I like this thing a lot. Oh no. <laughs> now, which of these storage rooms do you think I put all of the, um, do you think I put the stone inside of? Let's just pop them all down. Keep it real. 
It was nice to see a screen. Haven't been able to catch one in a while. Hey, Celestia. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you have an excellent rest of your day out there. Thank you. Thanks for spending part of your afternoon here. You have a good one, all right? And thank you again for the dono. I appreciate that. We can just create caravans. Like, I'm thinking, like, we make, like, old-school UPS trucks. Like, <laughs> let me see if I can... This could be kind of interesting. Not, like, the modern-day ones, but, like, old-school, like, 19... <gasps> Wow, they had electric trucks back in the day? Interesting. I'm thinking we make something like this. <laughs> like we can make something like this and just sell storage rooms out of the back of it. <laughs> I can beat my own delivery service. <laughs> it's kind of cute. Apparently it's an electric. Why we moved away from electric vehicles, I don't know, but. Right. How do we want to take, that? let's start from the top and work our way down. I guess I do need some of that dirt back. Whoop ups. Nah, we need to take the name of some random forest or something. Okay, so we're gonna do something like this. We can start placing in some of our dirt. Remember, we're not touching over to there yet. We're gonna come back for that later. It's probably gonna be a pretty sharp cliff. Then we're gonna have buildings down along the water edge, but that'll probably be like four or five blocks up from the water. So we can have like a cool, like very industrial area where they've just created like bulwarks and everything. I'm actually, you know what time period I'm thinking we're in is like Anno 1800. Like that's very much the time period that I keep bringing myself to where like some stuff is steam powered, but like also if there's a boat with sails on it, like that wouldn't be out of question. Like the full transition to steam power has not happened yet. Kai, thank you so much for the dono. I really appreciate it. Hey, for real. I missed the stream where you built the trolley to the mob spawner, but you mentioned overgrown type build style and wonder if a small custom tree in the center of the trolley station would be a cool. That would be cool. I'm not sure we have the space in there for it. But it could be cool. I like the idea, though. I'm definitely still considering that overgrown theme. I think that's going to be something that we add in, like, slowly throughout. Because otherwise, I will be spending so much time adding all the trees and everything around. But it's definitely something I'm considering. Maybe we do some like big trees around it, like hanging over the top, because I don't think we have space in the middle to get a tree going up just for th where the carts are. I think it might block the uh, access to the button, which would be bad. What you making? We're terraforming a mountain that we just absolutely destroyed a few minutes ago. Well, a few minutes ago, I should say, in the last two hours. So like 1850s, 1860s. Yeah, 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 kind of, probably that vibe. I don't know. We're going to play around with it. Most of my builds and things become like a fantasy compilation of a bunch of arrows being stuck together and smashed in place. Like, I don't think I'm going to have airplanes. I That's kind of a conscious thing I'm probably not going to do. Maybe I'll go build an airplane at Scars if he's still allowing other people to come in and build airplanes. But I don't think I'll be making like airplanes at mine. I want to focus more on the train side of things. I think that for me sounds more fun. Just love overgrown build styles. Yeah, I think it, I never really do a super overgrown build. I, it's been a long time since I've done one. I will say, I wanna get your take on this chat. Actually, since we're in here for the live stream, 
I am playing with the idea of the hardcore series taking a little bit of a break from the city to go build in like a desert area since we got camels and everything I'm like really I've been wanting to get like a desert build going or something like that um which would mean a break from the city project and all those because I was just kind of ramping up on that but what do we think do an airship that's true could do like a blimp sounds good I kind of want to I mostly really want to terraform a desert I don't know why but I really am interested by the idea of like trying to make an to arid landscape because everything in like so many Minecraft builds when they're landscaping are so lush and I kind of want to make one that's like really arid and but like still getting really cool vibe to it without that much foliage being included I feel like it's gonna be a big challenge <laughs> so many dead bushes yeah that's gonna be a tough bird whose ship is in the distance that is a naturally spawned one one of the mods added those in I, that's i rated that like in the first episode there's a bunch of dispensers over there i might go back and grab become pharaoh flip now we're just gonna be like archaeologist vibes Picks vibes where we're just creating a cool build but not really doing anything like I, d I don't like any role playing inside the hardcore world it's just me playing minecraft and i'm just enjoying playing minecraft and i don't need to do anything more beyond that and that's that's okay that is i'm very happy with that i think i might pick up the machine and run it up here i think we need to take this back like if we bring it right along there Do an oasis i'm thinking like full i probably the where i'm getting it from is i want to revisit the build style i did way back in the day in papyrus if anybody remembers that long ago actually we're gonna run it right here of the original building with whip series okay so we still need to get access here so that cannot be more chests that has to stay placeable i'm really thinking about going back to like the really nile river atmosphere and then like upscaling the build because i think the builds we made in that were cool but um i think we they're just so small my build style used to be so small like an interior space of a house was like five blocks and that was a big one made uh, seven blocks of those like we can make a structure okay we're gonna go to there ah nine blocks I'm just trying to bring this down. I think we're a little too harsh on grade there but then we can do a much more natural slope coming down look at that oh we've done so much i kind of wish i had a before we can pull up the original replay file and see what the before would be empire season two has been officially over for quite a while yes I'm gonna wait for it to come here and then we'll take it out actually I can place those five blocks of dirt back that'd take less time than it would take to replace all of this love the new content thank you I'm still a trickster yeah we still alive I ain't dead yet nailed it No, actually that didn't 
Did that break it? No, it didn't. Woohoo! Wow! Oh no. Oh. Ah! Aw, oh, man! Alright, we gotta fully reboot the game. The, the one hour and 50 minute later playing in this mod pack finally all crashed. <laughs> Alright, I gotta reboot Minecraft real quick. Bunny, thank you so much for the dono. Finally finished college, missed your streams. Like, finished, graduated, or finished for the semester? Either way, congratulations. New project? Yeah. Has anybody died to the point of being off the server yet? Not that I'm aware of. I struggle so hard finding a world. I I like, ugh, I just want a huge world like yours. One day at a time. I've been playing in that hardcore world for over a year and a half. So <laughs> you gotta, you gotta take that into account. It's, it took me a year and a half to get up to where I am. Also, Angela, thank you so much for becoming a supporter. I really appreciate that. Thank, thank, thank you. I'm about to graduate high school on Monday. Ooh, congratulations. I got having to check the mods one by one to find the lag causing ones. If so, ouch. Uh, we have somebody who's running the server for us that's been kind of doing all that stuff. Um, and yeah, so he's, that's fine. Connection refused, no further information. I made some changes to the server. Server? Server. Uh, is server dead? I have. Sorry, I'm trying to get back on. Okay, maybe it'll let me connect. Sorry, chat. Uh, this, if we can't back, get back on, that might be the end of the stream, uh, but we'll see. I saw a big dono in there. What was that? Angela, thank you so much for the dono. I do appreciate that. I'll let the, I'll let the chat thing read it out. I really appreciate that. Also, Tony, thank you so much for becoming a supporter. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Next episode of Hardcore is tomorrow. Started a new 1.20 world. Any build suggestions from Flip or chat? Uh, one thing I'm looking forward to doing soon that I haven't done yet is I want to build a, a big orchard, not orchard, um, like paddock and pasture for my sniffers. And I thought something cool with them would be fun. Um, <laughs> hey that's fantastic are you kidding that's great i'm hoping to be playing minecraft when i'm 51 so i get you <laughs> uh yeah that's awesome thank you again for the donut i really appreciate it oh server's back on cool and uh did it just got married any advice i mean if you got married you're already doing something right hopefully <laughs> Uh, if, you, if you've made it that far, you should have, you probably already are doing something along the right line. So you're, you should be good, right? I don't know. At least that's what I think about it. It's a real. Thank you for everything you do and stand. Keep doing for. what you're doing. My partner Lance and I love coming in and feeling included, welcomed and loved. Holy cow. Uh, Thank you so very much, Tony. I really do appreciate that. That is absolutely awesome. Glad you both feel like you got a fun place to hang out in here. So thank you. Thank you so very much. And glad you both are enjoying it. That is absolutely awesome. Okay. Uh, let's No, That might be a little too. So, all right. We're back on the server now so we can start breaking blocks. Let's see. We're, I think we can just start taking this around over here. We'll keep it really tight. But it should be all good. 
Uh, da, 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 da. Where was I thinking about? Again, Tony, thank you so very much. I really do appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, oh, build ideas. That's what we're talking about. Yeah, I really want to make like a big paddock for sniffers and give them like a whole sniffer like sanctuary, I guess. I think that'd be really cool. And also turning it into auto farm because I really want torch flowers and those things. I think I'm going to put it near spawn so that, that it's working really often. Um, and then so it'll be in the spawn chunks. And then outside of that, I really want to do something with the camels. So that's kind of where I'm theming right now. If you couldn't guess by what the last hardcore streams were, the next hardcore video is themed around the armor trims. And I built a really cool building for all of the armor trims and everything like that that I was able to get. So I'm really happy about everything. Bunny, thank you so much for the two months. Favorite build style at the moment? I just honestly, the medieval fantasy vibes. That is forever and always my favorite Minecraft build style. Forever and always, I will be building medieval fantasy things. I would love to get into more organics, but my brain just does not work currently that way to get anything that I'm really, really happy with. Hopefully it's a skill I can keep practicing and getting better at. Um, but right now, yeah, I'm just loving the medieval fantasy. It's just, honestly, it's that thing about like, I always just, the only like sci-fi things that I really enjoyed growing up as a kid was Star Wars. And I feel like Star Wars is still kind of just medieval fantasy vibes set in space in the future. Um, so for me, I've always just really enjoyed that type of stuff and being able to create my own things in Minecraft. Like all the video games I play are usually like 90% of the time what I'm the video games I'm playing are like based around medieval stuff like I don't really play first person shooters at all because I just don't find modern architecture things like that that interesting uh and also just I don't know not about all the first person shooter games they just don't find them super fun so I really like like the older time things like the fantasy worlds and so being able to build that stuff is always my favorite Yeah, Star Wars is pretty much just fantasy in space. They're all fighting with giant laser swords. Just turn it into a regular sword and take away the spaceships and turn it into dragons. I'm excited for that new Star Wars game, though. It'll be fun. Had to miss a Wednesday live for it. That's how you know it's true love. <laughs> if you tried to reschedule your wedding so you could make one of my live streams, I would be mad at you. <laughs> no, but congratulations. Yeah, congratulations. That's awesome. <laughs> I already got enough people skipping class in here to hang out in the live streams uh, i can't i can't be having anybody missing important life events to be here in a live stream i considered it thanks <laughs> also i think i missed it phoenix thank you so very much for the four months uh yeah i think i think i'm all caught up here y'all are so very kind today i really do appreciate it thank you thank you thank you i think this is just gonna be like a rolling hill this, we can put some like decorative trees and things on this. There probably won't be, or we could just have a field rolling down. That'd be fine. I'm always, I'm watching this at work. Hey, you know, that's fine. It's just, as long as it's one of those things where school and work, like school, I feel like you need to pay a lot more attention to because you're trying to really learn things. But if you're at work and you're just like regurgitating what you already know, you're just going through the process of getting it done. For me, having some noise in the background helps me focus more. Like, Sid will walk into my office and I have music playing. I usually have a YouTube video or a Twitch stream or a YouTube stream pulled up on my side monitor. And then I also have whatever I'm working on in the middle. And she's just like, how do you even think with like all of this noise going on? And I'm like, if it's not going on, I am not thinking. That's the issue. <laughs> 
It's not how do I think right now, it's how do I think without it. We've had a few zombies pop out of here, so we're just gonna do a nice little light up. Oh, maybe not down there though. Playing on my 1.20 long-term survival world on my day off. Hey, sounds fantastic. How did you get here? Hello! Oh, somebody logged in! <laughs> that was almost really bad. I'm gonna do all the goblin interiors for you once the world download releases. Cool. Somebody's gotta do them. It ain't gonna be me. Oh, I need the... The assembler! Because that turns into the box. So we can assemble things at the assembler. That sausage did almost kill me. I think we do have a rule on the server where if you die to lag of somebody logging in, you can get your life reset. So if you so wish. Okay, we gotta start extending these out a little bit further because we're getting into the flatter section. So maybe this we actually bring out to like chest monster assemble. Yeah, we could cuz you can build pretty much anything as long as you can glue it together. We could build a literal monster <laughs> made out of chests and to have like barrels and things in it for like limbs. The limbs can be out of barrels. <laughs> then you can... Oh, that'd be really funny. fairly close there that'll be fine we'll probably install like a retaining wall back on this side but it'll be okay we'll figure it all out lucia thank you so much for the four months your stream is my company while baking a cake and making a dessert for my mom's birthday tomorrow. <gasps> happy birthday to your mom. Happy you had a good vac vacation, but also happy you're back. Hey, I get it. I get it. If there's something that I'm normally doing and hanging out, I'm just like, they're gone. I mean, what do you mean they didn't upload their video today? What am I going to do? My day is absolutely ruined. Xander, thank you so much for the donut. Recently became a member. Wanted to build an adventures guild with camels, horses, and my nether portal in my world. And Discord has over 100 message in the forum post. Ooh. You've been busy then. Also, I subbed to flip and like the stream. Hey, I appreciate it. He's, they said it, not me. You need a beacon? Why do we need a beacon when we have create? Lucia, again, thank you so very much. Also, Blocky, how did I miss it? Thank you for the 11 months, my dude. Forgot this exists, uh, like the stream. Yeah. I still don't know why Streamlabs doesn't allow membership messages to be read by the bot. I don't get it. I don't get why they made that choice. Maybe they don't have access, but it's weird. We need a beacon. Well, if we need to really drill things down, we can just use that. Like, if we really, like, this whole thing, if we need to actually remove stuff, we just throw in the drill. Okay. I don't know. I don't know where I was going with that one. That had no end. That only had the start of a sentence. The thought only began. It did not end. 
Ray, thanks so much for the nine months. So glad to be a member of this amazing community. I, I really appreciate that. Y'all are so kind. I, I feel like really recently the community has been just really sticking together, which has been so, so fun. I'm glad to... I'm glad even though the channel has grown so much in the last year and we're about to hit 1.5 million subscribers, which is absurd, but the core community of all the members and the fans and everybody, a lot of people in the Discord, everybody's still just so chill and just wants to be here for a good time and isn't here to cause drama. And I, I really appreciate that we've been able to continue that message throughout the entire time. Because there was a little while where I felt the too. community was growing faster than I could control it. <laughs> and there were definitely some issues popping up in like live, not live stream comments, but more like video comments that I was like, really, really, we're turning into this. We're turning into this side of the Minecraft community. We don't want that here, actually. It's not welcome. Um, and so I feel like we finally got it to it, it just the growing pains, just some growing pains to get to where we are now. And I'm really, really happy with it. Same likes as viewers. <gasps> we did it. We've streamed for long enough for the likes to go above. This is so unorganized. I wish there was like a rhyme or reason to where the drills put things into the chest. There probably is. I just don't know. Timmy's 12k subs away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That short of his is popping off. It's interesting though because... YouTube, one, they're coming out with, with new retention data to tell if viewers are watching shorts versus long-form content. And I've talked to Mog Swamp a bit about it, and I've now I've talked to Jimmy a bunch about it because he's going through it right now. And he isn't seeing much of an increase in viewership in live streams or on videos at all, unless it's related to that short. And so it'll be interesting to see because he just gained what nearly 400 300 something thousand subscribers in the last two weeks i'm really interested to watch jimmy's channel and see how that changes his views and things going forward so like if that sort of like rapid growth is really worth it or not i'm really interested to see that because youtube can be youtube at points and if you have a lot of inactive subs you actually will get recommended less which is why you see a lot of those like 2 million subscriber channels from old YouTubers that are like, I've been around for 57 years. Uh, Pepperidge Farms remembers when I started my channel. And then they get no views. And that's kind of part of it. I don't think there's a theory on that you can actually like kill your channel. Like I know a few people have been like, yep, my channel's so dead that I just need to start a new one. Like I think Python did that a long time ago. And I don't, I don't think that theory is correct. I, I think there's always a way to revive your channel. You just got to really put in the work to it. Um, but yeah, I don't know. It's it's interesting seeing where active subs or not versus non-active subs take people. Mods are just sassy here. Yeah, I, yeah, I helped mold them into the beings that they are now, and I do apologize for it. any crashes earlier oh at the start of stream today no and uh not not too many so i think on friday's stream we're gonna try streaming in 60 fps and see if that still happens because if we have to stream in 30 that's gonna be a bummer Sometimes you do need a bit of sass to keep things in order. It's true. Okay, so I might have forgotten to eat breakfast today. And now it's 1 p.m. And I worked out this morning. And I'm getting really hungry. So we're going to finish this. And then I think it's time for me to go find lunch. What days do you stream? Wednesdays and Fridays, typically. Also love the long form content. Even the movies. Watch them all to catch up in the hardcore world. Yeah, I really thought the, the movies would be a good way for people to catch up as the new viewers because we've had so many viewers come in in the last year. I did not expect them to explode like they are. Oh, wow. 
the hardcore series is blowing up from even like residual views like uh the first thing joel asked me after the video started to go in like crazy he's like have you seen a drop off on views of the the original like playlist series of like the actual videos like are people just watching the movie videos now and no everything has went up people are watching the movie and then they're going back and also watching the playlist itself because i think they want to catch up on like things beyond the movie series so it's been uh it's been crazy to watch. I was not expecting how much growth has come from it, but I, I'm also not complaining. Arco videos are great for a working background, yeah. I'm hoping the one tomorrow turns out to be a pretty good video. I'm a little concerned because I was trying to rush recording it, but I think it'll be okay. I was just trying to get it done because I really wanted to post it tomorrow. With 1.20, like I'm way hyped to be working on that series right now. New Life, I'm gonna keep working on. Like the next video I'm gonna work on producing is the New Life one. But man, I'm way more excited to be playing in hardcore right now, which is okay. It's just the way it goes. Okay. Doesn't matter what you post, I'll watch. Hey, I appreciate that. Dude, at this point, you've been spamming so much. I don't even know what your question was. I'll, I'll be honest. Anders, whatever, whatever your question was that you just keep spamming, asking me to answer it. You spammed for so long that I don't even know what you said. <laughs> so welcome to Consequences of Your Own Actions, featuring you. Wee! Whatever shall you do? Because it could never be your fault. It's always the other people's fault. Right? Is that is that the thought? Man, streamer sucks. Streamer is stupid. Never. Oh man, I shouldn't have done that to a streamer. Wait, streamer might also be a person too? <gasps> never. Streamer is here for my entertainment only. It's really one of those things that like irks me about being a live streamer and like just content creator in general is the amount that some people just put so many expectations on us to as creators to like be fully entertaining towards just what they want to see. It's really interesting to watch because I feel like you don't see it quite as much in other forms of media, but when you get that closer relationship of where like live streams, y'all can talk and I can reply and everything is here just like we're having a conversation and hanging out. It's very different and that brings in that whole element in there. Whereas when you get into like Hollywood type things, granted there's certain standards that people are expecting actors, actresses, blah, blah, blah to live up to that are really not realistic. Um, or like actors playing a villain in a series to the point where then people see them on the street and just hate them. Uh, and then they just wherever they go they get yelled at so i guess that happens on both sides more of the story people are not good people sometimes and we should all strive to be good people welcome to my ted talk anyone know a good use for mangrove roots you can waterlog them and they basically turn into the same thing as obsidian for a blast chamber which is pretty cool uh, you can also put coral on top of them if they're waterlogged. Was your question if you could do a series with me and my friends? Sorry, no. 
uh, purely off of how you were acting, spamming at me, uh, that is enough for me to say no. That does that doesn't even get the yeah if you start really uploading videos and try and get there and like maybe one day if you have a lot of subscribers then we can start talking about it no if you were rude to me when asking if you can play on a series with me why would I ever say yes <laughs> like I just pause for a second I know you're already like man this guy's stupid I hate him you're not listening out all to what I say but just like pause for a second and be like you know what i was really rude to this person and just did not care at all for the rules of the community broke so many rules of what was going on but like why won't they let me play with them that's like being on the playground and throwing a football at somebody's head and then be then them being like uh oh, what are you doing and they walk away and you're like i just wanted them to play catch with me but your way of getting their attention to ask them to play catch was throwing a football at their head. I don't know. Consequences of your own action. Rounds, round two. <laughs> yep, that's uh, that tells me all I need to know about why I would never record with you. If you don't stop, we are going to ban you permanently, by the way. Just this is your final warning, buddy. That one always worked for my cousins. Yeah, I don't know. Hopefully that doesn't work for too long in life. Ah! For them. Dude, it's just, <laughs> it's literally what I, what I was saying earlier. People just like, don't treat streamers as people. <laughs> they treat us as objects uh, for their entertainment. So their entertainment is they want to play Minecraft with us and blah, blah, blah. And I can guarantee you, Less than three hours into it, somehow there would be TNT exploding in my base. And probably less if I had, if people had creative mode. <laughs> Are you digging this origin still? This is definitely my favorite origin so far. Even I think of season one, like of afterlife origins, this is still my favorite. I'm so embarrassed for them. Yeah, they're not even embarrassed. They're completely tuned out. They probably have left the stream by now. But that's the way of the internet troll. They live on the chase to troll. And then they get caught trolling and called out for it. And then they think, what was me? I could never be the problem. can't wait for Marcos to be watching these clips back if he's not hanging out in here right now and he's like well, what is he talking about <laughs> and I'll be like yeah some 12 year old came in chat and was being a little loser you know how it goes you would be like ah uh, yeah never their fault no never the world is against me I could never be wrong It crops vertical in one machine. Why do I like Minecraft? Dude, just being able to build and everything in this game is so fun for me. I played Minecraft for years, literal years, before I ever even considered uploading videos. Like I, I probably had close to a thousand hours played in Minecraft before I even uploaded my first video. I was not great at Minecraft, but I really just enjoyed playing, building my little dirt houses and everything. I didn't really start seeing Minecraft as an art form until I really got into content creation and like two years in, like I always enjoyed building. Actually, no, that's a lie. I got into building like a year and a half, probably before I started uploading videos. Uh, I got really into like, creating custom terrain with world painter and world machine for a long time and that's really where i got first into like the building scene and that was super fun and then beyond that like i i just love the game and survival minecraft i i think is so fun just having that extra challenge like i don't i did it again i don't think i could play just creative minecraft like i i think for me 
being like long-term sustainability and what I do for this being a job, like a big portion of, for my own love of the game, I, it needs to be in survival. And now more so recently in hardcore, like even in survival, I'm just, I'm like, where's the risk? I like the, I like the challenge of it being in a hardcore mode. The added, the added risk factor for me makes the game really fun. For all of you, maybe causes minor heart attacks. For me, also causes heart attacks, but fun. So, we go for fun. Yeah, we're finishing up a little terraforming thing that we did here today. We used that drill right over there to chop down an entire mountain. And now, we basically used that to carve out big sections of the train, and then we needed to come back in and actually smooth it all so that it didn't look just really artificial. That thing probably broke like 8,000 blocks for us today. I think we filled a few shulkers. We're done. That's it. Let's sleep and then look at it. You think they're kids that want the people who are trolling? Probably. Creative mode is kind of boring. You got to die lots of times before you can have fun. <laughs> now I see why some people play in creative mode. Like I get it. It's just ease of access. All right. That looks pretty good. Look at that. We got our flat top. We can put a farm up there. And then we can have like a rolling field here. We can have another, a few more farm fields down over here. And yeah, it's looking pretty good. We might just build over this a bit, like extend out into the water. I'm not knocking on creative mode at all, by the way. I think if that's how you enjoy Minecraft, everybody has their way of enjoying the game. And that is the way you should be playing the game. I think if you enjoy creative mode, play creative mode. If you enjoy peaceful mode, play peaceful mode. If you enjoy adventure mode, just playing maps that other people made, sure, do that. You can solve all the puzzles you want. It's great. If you enjoy PvP stuff, I don't know how you're so good at Minecraft, but you're probably a lot better at Minecraft than I am. I like my hardcore... I, I've realized for me as a gamer, PvE, like player versus enemy, like not player versus player, that is my preferred game. I don't enjoy PvP in video games much at all anymore. I, I just, I've realized that and I prefer story-based games, any form of PvE where you can work as a team with other people, I'm in. But the second you get into PvP mode, I'm just like, uh-uh, not, not for me anymore. The only game I was ever really into PvP for was StarCraft back in the day, and that is much different than you see other forms. Yeah, that's good. That's good. We're getting there. I think we're probably going to have to, like, along here, like, this is probably the new line we'll draw. We'll bring it out, like, 5, 10 blocks and just go, like, a straight line back over, then, like, a straight line out. Like, this will probably bring down so we can have, like, the buildings on top of there. Then this is probably going to be, like, a lighthouse out here eventually and probably another lighthouse beacon thing out there. And we go like straight line right back along here. That'd be pretty good. Can we get the before reference? Yeah, we can take a look at it. I gotta pull up the replay footage. Excuse me. Let me just pick up my chest. No storage problem if there's no, if you can't see it, there's no problem, right? There's not a monster. Don't forget bridges for Pearl. Yeah, we'll get to bridges eventually. Eventually. Yeah, that's a good start. I like it. That's pretty good. And the chicken. He survived. We got to decorate the back of this still. That needs some love. I kind of left it a little blank because I was running low on materials. I was not able to do. Was Vault Hunters a consideration for you? Not so much. I just don't think I'd make the best content on it. I think it's cool what they're doing, but I just don't see myself as a big Vault Hunters player, to be honest. Um, like, I I make content for building 
and just like doing that type of stuff in Minecraft and I just don't think I'd be able to find something that great out of it. Uh, it's probably here. Sorry, I need to hide the camera because it shows the IP address when you're pulling up re replay footage. Look, it's me. I'm looting the chests. Please be loaded in. Please be loaded in. It is. This is what we had before. <laughs> Take screenshot. We'll do a little side by side. Vault Hunter says PvE. Yeah, it is. You're like, it's basically Diablo. Like, they basically built Diablo, which I do love. It's one of my favorite games ever. Especially Diablo 4 has been really, really good. Okay, you want to see the difference? Let me get this. A little like this. Aha! Here we go. Bam! Nope, oh, that's the wrong one. Bam! So that is now. This is before. A pretty big change. That's a big change. There we go. Yeah, look at that. I, th that was two hours. Two hours of dirt digging. I don't like how, I'll be honest, I don't like how flat it is on top, like up here. We're definitely gonna have to do something with that, but it's okay for now. I think once buildings are up there and it turns into more farming stuff, it'll be fine. Maybe we also like curl it along the back here because we probably don't need that much space. I don't even know if I'm gonna do here, like where I'm gonna put things. All I knew is I wanted to do this. But yeah, we got a lot of space. This whole like jut out section here. Oh geez, like this along there. The whole like plains area is what I allocated for farmland zone. I don't know what I'm gonna do in here. I haven't figured out the center district yet. I know this over here I wanna turn into like tree farms and log chopping and everything. This was gonna be like the factory section in all of the oak forest. Back here I hadn't really figured out. Maybe this can be like where all the trains are. This could be like the train center. We're gonna have a line going out there, connecting into like two points. We'll have one coming over to here. This can be like main storage room and train hub. That could be it. That could be the way to go. Like main factory storage room is here. Power plant probably somewhere there. That, and I don't know what's gonna happen down there. We'll see. I mean, we got a long time on this series. Hopefully it depends how many times I die. But my friends, that's gonna do it for today's episode. It's episode, stream episode. It's a stream episode, everybody. Uh, thank you all so very much for hanging out. Thank you for all the support today. I really do appreciate it. Y'all are absolutely amazing. I'm going to grab some lunch and uh, go play some video games for a little bit and chill out and not do any more work <laughs> for an hour or two. And then we'll come back in. We got to actually get trains in here. More trains? Has anybody else built a train yet? No, we're going to build like a train train. But thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everybody, for being here. I really do appreciate it. Thank you all so very much. I'm out of here for now, though. So I will catch you all on the flip side. And subscribe.